I can't believe I touched that thing. Brother, let me teach this slowly insect a lesson he shall never forget. I would like to dispose of this wind immediately as much as you do, dear sister. But I wouldn't bother. It wouldn't really give much of a fight. Now that it's out of Earth's aqua barrier, we Krang must not show frustration towards this thing. And as soon as we find out about their leaders and about how he found out about Krang's... Ahem. Hold up, hold up. Back up a bit. What you guys just say? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Yarte? Is that what you call this planet? Oh no, you guys are hilarious. You mean Earth, right? Man, you are killing me. You heathen. I should have your entire head on a platter. If it weren't for the fact that we still need your despicable behind. Ah, is it how? It feels to be needed. Well, I'm flattered. Sucks to be you, though. You said it yourself. You need me. I, for one, would rather do literally anything else than stare at your chewed up face right now. If I weren't for my text to send an important message to you. Hmm? <laughs> Throw it back to its cell. Once the sedative toxin wears off, we question it again later. In the meantime, prepare to bring out the other one. Maybe we will get some answers from there. Other one? Hopefully, when we question the Drake, he will be much more generous to share some information to us. Hmm, fine. But I must speak the truth. That was an unflattering performance, brother. Until then, I shall disinfect myself. That being was disgusting. I would appreciate if you spare me from your comments, sister.